Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand. Welcome to another video. I'm afraid Dr. Dand is yet again completely stunned into silence by the complete stupidity of a supposed leading medical organization. Let me share with you an article that was published by the American Society for Nutrition. Here we have the website, American Society for Nutrition, Excellence in Nutrition Research and Practice. Latest articles, Are Unhealthy Foods and Beverages Fueling Childhood Obesity? Come again, you are a leading nutrition organization and you're asking that question. Do unhealthy foods and beverages fuel childhood obesity? Did I just hear right? Review published in Advances in Nutrition finds a relationship between unhealthy food and beverage consumption and childhood obesity, but more research is needed. So I can't even read the rest of that article to you. It annoys me too much, but I did put the link down below. But basically what the American Society for Nutrition is saying in the article is that the evidence is weak and they cite some study that apparently came from the World Health Organization and they're casting doubt on the link between unhealthy diet and unhealthy beverage consumption and childhood obesity. It's actually not a good study at all, lots of weaknesses in the study, but they concluded that the evidence was not strong that unhealthy diets and unhealthy beverage consumption causes obesity. Really, a leading organization, instead of doing their job and getting out there and trying at least to solve this problem, they're going back to the most basic question of all and acting like there's some doubt as to why we are seeing the crisis, the metabolic health crisis in children and adolescents. This is across a lot of the Western world, but the United States is one of the worst offenders. We are seeing sky high rates of obesity. It's gone off the charts. It's at levels unheard of, unthinkable a few decades ago. We're seeing childhood and adolescent diseases like type 2 diabetes and fatty liver disease, other chronic diseases we never used to see before. And we know damn well why this has happened. It's obvious when you look at countries where it's happened and countries where it hasn't happened. Food, i.e. what children are eating. You can argue that being less active plays a role, but by far the number one factor is food. Children are now being fed a diet extremely high in terrible processed and packaged junk foods, foods which are high in refined carbohydrates and sugars especially, particularly those sugary beverages, the sodas, that is what is causing the massive problem that we are seeing. And the American Society for Nutrition is still asking this basic question as to whether there is a link between obesity and eating unhealthy foods. What can I say? Why don't we go back to more basics? Does smoking cause lung cancer? If we encourage drink driving, if we actively encourage it, will it lead to a rise in accidents? We're not sure. Come on, American Society for Nutrition. But this is really not a surprise because we lack leadership and we have some pretty terrible organizations that don't do their job in trying to solve problems. That's why problems keep getting worse. So I am at a loss for words. Actually, I shouldn't be at a loss for words because we see things like this happening all the time from our top institutions. It's not a surprise. Dr. Sunil Dan, thanks for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do hit the subscribe button for more similar videos in the future. Also hit the bell button so you get notified when I make more videos. And do also come follow me on my uncensored platform. That link is down below where we have more open, honest discussions away from this big tech environment of censorship and silencing. Hope to see some of you there. We will talk again very soon.